Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a very special interview here on the channel, actually with a guy named Hunter Shrum. If you guys do not remember who Hunter Shrum is, first of all, in a couple of months, he's going to be a collegiate athlete for the uh, game of CSGO. So for all of you guys who are looking to get experience or advice on how to maybe be a collegiate athlete or go to college, university, and play CSGO on scholarship, he'll be talking to us about that. But on top of that, he was also many months ago hit headlines as his high school actually shut down their esports club because of violent games like CSGO. We're going to talk to him about a variety of things today. Thank you all for tuning in. A huge thanks to Hunter. It is currently the point of me recording this 6.03 in the morning and according to him he has actually not gone to bed yet. So this guy is absolutely crazy. I hope you guys all enjoy this amazing interview and as always leave a comment down below who I should interview next. I hope you guys all enjoy and here is Hunter Shrum. All right, so I think the first thing I want to ask you is, of course, before we get into uh, you going to college for esports, in particular CSGO, I think people are most curious about your background. So maybe how you got started with CSGO, maybe how you thought uh, esports could be a possible you know, a way for education for you. So uh, I know we hear a lot about people have older brothers, but what's your background, how you got started in esports or maybe CSGO? Well, for me, I just started off playing video games like most people, just playing with their friends around school, playing casually, having fun. And I was never a PC guy. I always liked playing console and stuff. Played Call of Duty a lot. Always thought Counter Strike was kind of weird. You couldn't aim down sights, so I was never really a huge fan of it. Never really tried it. And then Daisy started getting popular, so I really wanted to get a gaming computer. So I saved up, got a computer. Eventually played Daisy for quite a while, probably about a year or so, without even touching Counter Strike. Then one of my IRL friends he was telling me. Hey man, you should try out Counter Strike. It's a pretty fun game. It's only like ten dollars. It's just worth a shot. I'm like, all right, yeah, for sure. So I bought it. Probably played it for a year. It was only like Silver One, Silver Two. Kind of played, liked it, but didn't play it seriously. Then I'd say after about two years, I started like getting good, getting better. Started playing competitively. Started like most people. Just started in ESCA Open. Wasn't really the best player. Played that for two seasons, and then I was getting quite good at the game. It's one of the top open players. Then I got picked up by an intermediate team the next season. Played two games of that and then got picked up by a main team. And then at that point, I'm playing pretty seriously. I'm practicing every day, starting to get serious. Now this season, playing ESC Advanced, so getting pretty serious. Everything's going good. And yeah. So like in total, how many years have you been playing CS? Uh, about four years now, yeah. Okay, so then bouncing back to uh, maybe the high school days, since it's been four years, so you started probably when you were about 14 years old, correct? Yeah, that sounds about right. So then how did you make time? You know, how did you make time for friends, for school, that kind of stuff? Is there, is there, are you just, you know, explain to people how you possibly made time for uh, getting that good at the game. Well, I think my freshman year of high school, I was playing football, so obviously that takes up a ton of time. I'm practicing yeah. that two hours a day get home, I'm tired. I'd probably only play Counter-Strike maybe two hours a night, practice with my team, go to sleep, repeat. And then after, I only played football my first year in high school. So after that, I was kind of playing CSGO mainly. Come home from school, I'd probably play for like four hours a day, hang out with friends for a little bit after school, then probably towards like seven o'clock, it was just CSGO from there on out. So would you say then, since you had such little time in high school, are you so um, I already kind of let the people know that you're going to college for, you know, t uh, technically for CSGO as well. Are you excited to finally re like be able to play? Because I think one of the big experiences I had during college was my amount of free time. So are you excited to see how good you can possibly get uh, with that kind of free time that now you actually can dedicate more time to playing CS? Oh, definitely. Now that um, it's a summer vacation for me, I actually had a part time job and I just quit it. it actually, yesterday was my last day. Nice. So I just quit that so I could just focus on CS full time for the summer before college. And finally being able to just focus on CS to see how good I can possibly get feels great. And knowing that I can go to college and they're going to support me on that, it's going to be awesome. So then bouncing off that as well. So um, I'm not sure how many details you can talk about, but Hunter will be playing for Ashland University, one of the um, you know growing universities out there that's offering a variety of esports scholarships. So I don't know what details you can tell us about that. Um, you know how you got in contact with them. Maybe talk about um, the team over there. What's going to be like? I'm not sure if you can talk exact numbers about what people can expect, but um, just talk about any kind of you know how you got in contact with them and how you you know of course started talking to them about possibly playing esports for them. So I always knew colleges were starting esports teams up, but I never really looked into it until my senior year in high school. 
I started looking at colleges. There was probably only maybe 10 or so that even had Counter-Strike. And most of them didn't offer scholarships. And then I forget. I don't know if I saw someone made a post on Reddit or maybe I was just going through colleges. But I saw Ashland had an esports team. And they're right in Ohio, which is where I live. So it was super convenient. So I was going through their form and everything. And I sent an application. I saw they are offering scholarships. So that was an instant plus. So I sent an application in. Next day, I think I got an email from the head coach. He wanted to interview me right away. Did an interview with him. Everything sounded really good. So I went and visited the school. And maybe a month later, decided to commit. And right now, I think we have the five starters set up. Right now, I think I'm by far the best player. But we have another player who's Whoa, an intermediate. Confident, confident hunter. Jeez. I, I mean, is, it, is it pretty obvious that you might be one of the you know, more skilled players? I'll be... I'm definitely the most experienced player. That's probably a better term to put it as. Okay. Uh, the next best player, he'll be an ESC intermediate. He's pretty good as well. And then from what I, what else I saw, the other ESC players are going to be an open. And I'll probably take the IGL role, being the most experienced player, and hopefully help everybody out, and we all get better as a team. And then you told me as well, there's going to be a couple squads, right? There's going to be a varsity squad and a JV squad, and the amount of scholarship they offer you guys is based off um, which which team you play for? Yeah, so they're offering a four thousand dollars scholarship for the varsity squad, which will be the starting five. And then I'm not sure how many backup players there are. There might be a whole another five for a JV team. There might be more. I don't know the details, but they're offering two thousand dollars for the junior varsity squad. I know. And so then you've met the team. You you've obviously met the coach. Have you guys discussed possibly like what your day to day schedule is going to be? Uh, maybe tell the viewers like how many days you're going to be playing Counter Strike and uh, what will your school schedule be compared to that? Is there like a set practice time each and every day? Uh, we don't have any set plans yet. But I when I did visit and talk to the head coach, he was talking probably an hour to two hours a day, probably five days a week, depending on when everyone's classes were. And then it's going to be pretty lenient. So if anyone has like a bunch of big tests on one day or something, we can just call off practice that day. Everyone can just relax. But Dang. it's so, going to be, so yeah, it's going to be like a varsity sport. Okay, that's awesome. So you guys plan on, you know, because that's considering, you know, most pros, you know, they, they say that the tentative, you know, six to 12 hours a day, it's a kind of a wide range. One to two hours seems pretty manageable. So it's, it's kind of weird to, because I've never really talked to an esports athlete before, so it's kind of weird to compare that to other sports out there. Um, so also on top of that, since you're, you know, pursuing, are you you're hoping to, in terms of education, are you hoping to pursue a future in CSGO, a future in esports in, in the field, or what, what are you doing for in terms of the actual education there at Ashland? For Ashland, I'm majoring in management information systems. I know it's like business and a lot of computer work. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking to that. I'm really. I talked to um, one person who's already majoring in that, and he actually got an internship at Schmuckers, I think. <laughs> kind of random, <laughs> but <laughs> he, he got an internship there. Is, and... is that the peanut butter and jelly sandwich company? Smuckers? Yeah, yeah, oh, the heck jelly. yeah. <laughs> That's and, awesome. So are you hoping to maybe tie that into a, an eSports field or are you just kind of going with the flow? And, you know, of course, you still have four years there, so plenty of time. But have you thought about the future of what you want to do post-graduation? I mean, if I got an opportunity, I would definitely bring it into the eSports scene. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. But probably the first year or so, I'll just go with the flow and see what works out. Okay, so quickly, I do want to backtrack because I, I think a lot of us uh, who are actually watching this and know who you are remember back in the headlines many months ago when you were in high school, um, and accordingly, your high school had actually shut down their esports club. So I was hoping to get maybe any updates on the situation, or uh, first of all, maybe give us the details about what happened there, if you're comfortable about talking about that as well. Uh, yeah, so I think it was in April, I want to believe, they started up the esports club. It was just a club, nothing really behind it or anything, and I'd meet a bunch of friends, so it'd be cool. We went down, checked it out, and they were competing in all these online leagues they wanted to compete in, and I knew I was good at Counter-Strike, so I figured, yeah, I'd play that for sure. Help the school out, see what happens, maybe get some scholarship money, and then I think there was maybe a few small like updates on a Google Classroom they made, and then not a lot of word going on, and then maybe... A month after they started it, there was probably two weeks left to sign up for the online leagues and everything. And they said we had the 
backup of the administration and everything, and they were all for it. But I guess the superintendent never heard anything about it. And once he did, he didn't like the idea and just shut it down instantly. And so was there any was there any backlash like from the students? Uh, I mean, I don't know how big the group was. Was there any backlash from parents as well who had who had kids who were in the club itself? I never heard if there was any parents that were upset about it. I can imagine mm -hmm. there might be some. I know some of the students, I specifically one, he spent a lot of time making the club and he was pretty upset about it. I can't blame him because he basically did everything, set up Discord servers, set up practices for people in different games. He was putting in a ton of work. And then for it just to get shut down, all of a sudden he was upset. And I know he was going to bring it up to the Board of Education and I never got to hear what happened with that. So was it exact, do you think it was exactly CSGO? Because I think there was a list of games. Do you know how it went vi so viral? Like how, how, you know, websites out there caught wind of it? I'm not entirely sure. I know I made a Reddit post asking if there's any good videos to show the administration or some help us out a little bit. And then I got a few messages from there on out. And then I think people just took the story and went with it, to be honest. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I, I saw that, they, I know there was a few websites that actually listed the games the club was playing on playing or already playing and CSGO obviously being one of them, people were kind of, um, you know, trying to think that that was maybe one of the games that caused it to shut down entirely. So what, what in your opinion, was it not exactly CSGO, but just the, the club in general that was going to be shut down, whether they played CSGO or not? I'm not entirely sure what game maybe got the reason it was shut down. I don't even know if the superintendent knew what games were in it. Because okay. most of the games weren't very violent at all. It was like Overwatch, which is like all cartoons, Rocket League, Rocket. which is <laughs> car soccer. <laughs> Not sure how that causes violence, but... And then Counter-Strike, obviously, probably being the most violent one. And then I think Rainbow Six Siege, too, which is a pretty violent okay. game. Okay, so that's a good clarification to have, yeah. Um, but that was always super sad to hear, because once I actually... Uh, I made a, a short video on it as well. People reached out to me saying they had the same issue. You know, their, their school shutting down those kind of things, too which is obviously kind of kind of sad to see. Um, I'm not sure if it's even a healthy comparison, but you know, you have you have football. It's kind of funny. You said you played football freshman year. I did too, and I, I quit after that because I wasn't really, pl I was more so on the bench, uh, but I quit football. But you, you'd say football maybe promotes violence as well. Obviously, probably not the same type of violence, but it's kind of funny how things things tend to go that way when football brings in the money and esports clubs certainly probably don't. Oh, yeah, it's definitely interesting how that works. And then once again, you know, football might, we might say, equally causes as much violence as esports, but a lot of people know football. A lot of people don't know about esports, so they only assume the worst. <laughs> That's a very good way of putting it. Okay, those are the last questions I had for, for you right now, but I do want to quickly ask everyone as well watching, if you guys want a part two, which I certainly want one, I really enjoy talking to Hunter, and I really think in the future uh, he can make some great content with us as well. So if you guys do us a favor right now, comment on the video down below any questions you have for Hunter in the future if you guys want advice about you know possibly pursuing education uh, along with playing an eSport out there. I'm sure we'd love to answer those questions in the future. Part two coming soon. Hunter, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, is it 6 a.m.? for you as well or is it i can't uh, remember 7 30 okay so this guy's been up all night we're gonna get him back to bed thank you so much for your time and i do appreciate it any last words you have uh thanks for having me it was a good time being here awesome okay we'll check you guys later as always my name is jake i like you and i'll see you guys all tomorrow goodbye guys